What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have some breaking WWE action figure news for you guys. This comes to us from the WWE Elite action fi figure series, not the main Elite line. You know, we're not diving into Elite 95 or anything like that, Brad. Today, we're diving into an exclusive line. I believe it is Walmart exclusive. You guys do know that we do have the WWE Elite Ruthless Aggression Wave. It actually went up for pre-order yesterday, I think it was, around noon or something like that. The first series of figures went up for pre-order on walmart.com i am very hyped about this series i am thrilled about this series probably the biggest fan of this series that you'll find out there been pushing for this wave for a decade it feels like and we finally have it here and i didn't even pre-order it you want to know why i didn't pre-order it on walmart.com because it's walmart.com okay it's walmart.com I don't trust them whatsoever, man. Every single time I pre-order something with Walmart, it always gets canceled, and I never end up getting the figure that I'm supposed to get, and then I always end up finding it in the store later or having to pay aftermarket prices. So that's just the risk I'm going to take, Brad. I'm just going to have to get my, my hunting cap and gown on and just go out there on the hunt and try to find it in the aftermarket, maybe have some friends help me out, because I sure as hell am not going to pre-order these things from Walmart. But Ruthless Aggression Elite Series number 1 with HBK, Batista, and Brock Lesnar. You guys know that wave. It did go up for pre order yesterday and I did not get it. It may still be up. I don't know if you guys want to go check it out. I'll leave a link down below if that's possible. But today we have Series 2 leaked out to us. Now, this was actually broken by Walmart.com. Walmart.com did a terrible job of keeping this this secret, you know, from, from us. They, they didn't do a very good job, Brad, because it was broken to us in, like, the description of the figures, you know, like the little mini bio they give you of the figures. They gave us the first three figures and then they went on to mention what Series 2 is probably end up gonna, you know, going to be and we're going to name all the figures here today man so starting out first in the wave number two man we have series two broken to us three more figures to add to our series one man let's go ahead and get into it the first figure is going to be none other than one of my favorite wrestlers of all time and it is going to be triple h who sadly announced yesterday on, I think it was on ESPN or First Take or something like that in an interview with Stephen A. Smith, he did mention that due to his heart issues that he is done with wrestling and he's retiring from the ring. So yesterday was a big celebration thing all over Twitter, Instagram, every social media site, everywhere you looked, everybody was celebrating Triple H's career, and, and relatively so. It is rightfully so, man. He's one of my favorites of all time, one of the best heels of all time. I love Triple H dearly, one of my favorite wrestlers, bar none, and it's very sad to see, but at least I got to witness pretty much his entire career. So, I mean, I, I am just thrilled to have witnessed him in the ring, but he is the first figure in this series. I am saddened that he's done, but, I mean, his backstage role has, has created superstars and things that will live on forever, and he will always cherish. I will always hold him in my heart in his career as a wrestler, man. He's a he's a beast and will always be one of my favorites ever. So Triple H is the first figure in the series, man. I was hoping when Series 2 was announced that Triple H was in this wave because I'm hoping that we get finally a 2004 era Triple H, an evolution era Triple H. I don't think we've really seen a, like, just factored in just hardcore Triple H from that specific spot. And it'd be really cool to see him in a suited body with, like, a shaved hair or maybe a handlebar mustache with a heavyweight title. They could do a lot of looks here. I'm just excited excited to see Triple H, man. Hopefully, it'll be a bang. The next figure in the set is going to be a guy who is not new to the wave. We have seen this guy countless times, and you're probably thinking it's John Cena or Undertaker. You would be wrong, Brad. It is actually none other than Rey Mysterio, the Mr. 2K22 cover athlete himself. Rey Mysterio makes his return to the Elite line. I'm guessing that he will be in some sort of Ruthless Aggression era sort of style, of course, so I'm guessing it'll probably be in long pants, right? It'll probably be long pants, and there's so many different gears they could give us, man. I'm I mean, I, I don't even want to get into which gear they're going to give us. I mean, it could be his WrestleMania 22 gear. It could be his Royal Rumble winning gear. I mean, there are so many different gears they could do. They could go one of his one of his superhero gears. I really don't care. I'm going to grab it regardless. Rey Mysterio makes some bomb figures. I'd like to see them redo his formula since, you know, it has been a while. Maybe put his figure on ball joints because the legs are usually super stiff. He will have double jointed arms. This Rey should be one of the best long pants Rays ever, and it may be the best long pants race ever. You guys know know that we do have the greatest hit series coming soon as well that news that we leaked out featuring Rey Mysterio again, so I think Rey Mysterio could not only be in that greatest hits line, but also here in the Ruthless Aggression line. We're getting plenty of Rey Mysterio figures in the years to come because, you know, that I mean, he probably leads in elites total anyways. He's up there for sure, but Rey Mysterio is the second figure in the set next to Triple H. Now, the last figure in the set is a surprise. I, before I even saw Series 2, I saw my boy Christian Unstable 1047 post a video of this news, and so I watched the video, and then uh, before I even watched the video, I said, I'm 
I'm going to make a prediction on who is going to be in this wave. And my prediction was Triple H, Rey Mysterio, and John Cena. And unfortunately, my boy John Cena didn't make the cut. That's very shocking to me. I don't see how you can have a Ruthless Aggression wave without John Cena in the wave, or at least one of the series. Maybe we can get him in series number three. But none other then Booker T will be the last figure in series number two. So we'll have Booker T, Triple H, and Rey Mysterio. Now there's plenty of gears again that Booker T could be here. His WrestleMania 36 figure was insane. I don't know what happened to mine. I don't remember trading it. But I cannot find it anywhere. It was like one of my favorite figures of the year in 2019 or 2020, whenever that figure released. And I can't find it anywhere. It really saddens me. I have my King Booker. I have my Hall of Fame Booker T. I cannot find this one specifically. I don't know where my White Gear WrestleMania 36 figure went. Pisses me off because I loved that figure. I love the glove tans and the white gear. It was super sick. So this one will probably be similar to that. It'll have double jointed arms. I expect a brand new head sculpt, hopefully. I, I imagine it may be his red gear, possibly. Maybe his WrestleMania gear versus Triple H, or is that what the WrestleMania gear was? Maybe that's what it was. Yeah, that would make sense, wouldn't it? It would be his WrestleMania gear when he was at WrestleMania, but I could be wrong about that as well. Anyways, Booker T should be fire, man. I mean, that's a that's a beautiful looking figure there. I, I love having Booker T return to the Elite line. Not a guy with a ton of Elites, you know? Like, we haven't seen a lot of Booker T, so I'm glad that we're getting somebody that hasn't had a ton of Elites in this line, such as, you know, a John Cena, such as a Rey Mysterio, such as a Triple H. You know, the, the other two guys in the set have a lot of figures on hand. Booker T doesn't have that many elites, so seeing that is pretty cool. We can plug in another one. Uh, of course, he does have his Harlem Heat elite as well, which is pretty cool. But I, I like this. I like this wave here. And I think you have to go Series 3, right? I hope they keep going, man, because I've been saying this for years, that the Ruthless Aggression wave... Could, could pump out. They always said that it wasn't sustainable because you'd have repeat characters, which is not true at all. There's plenty of talent out there to be made. You can make Undertaker, Kane, John Cena, Rob Van Dam now. You could make, make Randy Orton, Edge, Shelton Benjamin, MVP, Bobby Lashley. I mean, dude, there's there's a lot of guys that you could make here. So hopefully we'll keep going. Of course, you could also do Hulk Hogan. So I mean, there's plenty of names, man. I don't, I don't want to hear that they can't do names because there's plenty here. And there's definitely a lot. If you're only putting three in a series, we could definitely get another series of maybe John Cena, Hulk Hogan, and another guy, which I would love to see, man. But that pretty much wraps up the news. WWE Elite Series, Ruthless Aggression Series, I'm sorry. Elite Series number two. So Ruthless Aggression Series number two. Can't wait to see what they look like. You know, we already know what Series one looks like. Again, pre-orders down below, man. But had to get on here and break the news to you guys if you guys missed that. I didn't see it a ton of places. I did see where a couple people were posting about it, but I did want to get on here and let all you guys know in case you missed it. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know your thoughts on this series down in the comment section below. Do you guys like Series one or two better? Right now, I'm going to say Series one is a little bit better just because I already know what we're getting. Maybe when we see the attires for Series two, I can change my mind, man. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know your thoughts down below. I'll see you in the next video. And don't cross the line like me when I found out about these ruthless aggression figures. You cross the line. I've been beaten.